Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude, and this is going to be my 900th video on my top five best SpongeBob specials. First, I just want to give my honorable mentions to Pest of the West and Friend or Foe. I really love both of those specials, they are fantastic, but they just didn't quite make the list for me. So, number five is it's a Spongebob Christmas. I loved how it just pays a reminiscent to the classic Rankin Bass specials. And I love that the creators had so much passion and it was really beautiful. I actually wish it was a longer special because it was just so fantastic and it was just cool to see all of these characters in claymation form. It was beautiful. It was creative. It just brings a huge smile to my face. It's really funny. I love the Christmas musical numbers. A special I love to watch, especially around the Christmas season. I can't get enough of It's a SpongeBob Christmas. It was great to have John Goodman, one of my favorite actors of all time, to be in this SpongeBob Claymation special. It's a SpongeBob Christmas. I love this special. And it is number five. Number four is Ghoul Fools. This special just completely blew me away. But SpongeBob and Patrick are inside that haunted house. It's really cool. The second half of the special, when the whole gang comes in the haunted house, it's really fun. It is a really good Halloween type of feel special. Like the special, I don't believe, takes place in Halloween, but it does have that feel. So this is a special I really love to watch, especially when it's around the Halloween season because ghosts, haunted house, the special was not only funny, but, but it was kind of twisted. It was kind of dark. What the Fine Dutchman did at the end? Wow. I, I have never seen the Flying Dutchman like this before, but when he did it, I remember my mind being blown. And even to this day, it still blows my mind. The storyline is well written. The humor is good. I love the concept. It's just a fantastic special. Number three is Hello Bikini Bottom. It was quite touching and when Spongebob and Squidward sing that musical number in the final few minutes, I'm not joking, it brings me to tears. It actually does have me a little bit emotional. I'm not gonna lie to you guys and I'm not ashamed to admit that. The storyline is very good. The musical number, the beginning, the end is awesome and seeing Spongebob and Squidward just bond with each other it's just plain amazing. Hello Bikini Bottom is just a joy to watch. It's a beautiful special. Yes, it's funny, but I see it more as a heartfelt special because of Spongebob and Squidward and Come on, we don't get enough of that. I want to see more episodes like that. Stop with the Squidward hating on Spongebob. Stop with the Spongebob gain on Squidward's nerves. Let's have more episodes like this. Number two is Christmas Who. Now, as much as I love It's a Spongebob Christmas, Christmas Who, I gotta say, by a margin, just by a tiny margin, it is better. I always love it as a kid, and I always love it now as I'm older. Just like with It's a Spongebob Christmas, I always love watching this special, especially when it's around the Christmas times because it just brings so much of that Christmas cheer to spread around and get you into the holiday mood. It's very well written, it's very funny, and it's very heartfelt, and it's one of those few episodes where we actually see Squidward do something really nice for Spongebob. I just love this Christmas special. And I really love the musical number to it as well. For my number one best Spongebob special of all time, it is Where's Gary aka Have You Seen This Snail? Not only the best Spongebob special I've seen period, but it might be the saddest Spongebob special I've seen. Storyline is very well written. It actually keeps you invested. It's very funny, especially when Patrick's around. And it's just really nice to see how much SpongeBob cared for Gary and how he's willing to go out of his way just to look for his snail. Once that montage scene pops into the special, I just lose it. I have tears coming out of me and 
the song Gary Come Home really matches that montage so beautifully. It might be the best montage I've seen in Spongebob ever and it's just very well put. And of course Amy Poehler does a really good job as grandma and which towards the end um, the special actually took a lot of balls. Well you know what happens I don't want to really give it away but yeah the episode did take a risk in the final few minutes it was actually pretty creepy kind of haunted me a bit where's gary is my favorite spongebob special of all time in the comments down below tell me what are your top five best spongebob specials ever this is 22 tiger dude and don't forget that i will always have tiger power